in Delhi, there's elephants walking out in the streets in traffic with motorcycles, people's cars, buses, and auto rickshaws, and there's elephants going down the streets. And so, one of these times, I flagged down the guys with the elephants. I paid them, I don't know, 20 rupees or something, and they let me get up and ride their elephant, and I got some pictures. My companion took some pictures, so I could have some pictures on an elephant. And, you know, that was cool. I mean, and I don't know. These guys use them to pull carts behind them sometimes, or I don't know. They take them to weddings a lot, I think. And so there's still elephants roaming the streets in India. Um, in Hyderabad, Hyderabad, you hear the Muslim call to prayer at th you know three o'clock, I think, every day or whatever it is. And so Hyderabad, I think Hyderabad was a a Muslim kingdom before it had a sultan. I think they still have a sultan who's kind of like the king and queen of England. They're not really the government anymore, but they're kind of a figurehead. So Hyderabad, when I was there, I, get, I rode a camel because that's just, I don't know, for some reason camels are a little more Muslim. Than, and um, they had, you know, I'd pay the guys a couple of rupees to ride their camel. And those guys let us ride, my companion and I both rode, we just rode camels all the way around several blocks to our next appointment actually and then got off and and those guys just left us but so we got to ride camels and then in bangalore and this the the snakes were more often but i just really wanted to get a picture with a cobra because there's cobra you see them in the streets sometimes and they i mean in kakinata i rode my bike over one one time like because i was just flying to my next appointment and i saw it and I didn't have time to do anything so I just went over it but um yeah in Bangalore like there was a beggar who we weren't allowed to like get beggars money in India just uh, just a church rule I guess and but if if beggars were selling some sort of service then I felt fine about buying that service if I want if I wanted to or if they're selling some flowers or like a newspaper or something and then um, I would typically do that because that way I could kind of get around that rule without breaking it but still help help someone and uh, so there's a beggar coming around I really wanted to anyway but there's a beggar coming around with a ba big old basket and took the lid off and this cobra came jutting out of it and she like hit it with the lid of the basket and it goes down and it I mean it was up and she let us hold the basket and grabbed it right around the neck right by the head so it couldn't and we got it and took pictures of it and there's pictures I have with me holding it and it's just like a picture of me holding a cobra it looks really cool and then I had a companion who was an Indian and he's holding it and he's squeezing it so tight because he was terrified because he'd been he'd grown up being taught to be terrified of cobras because Obviously, they're dangerous, and so he was really scared. And so his pic—it's funny to compare the pictures because me, I'm like excited to be like holding. It. I was just like excited. Uh, another like animal thing. There's because Indians regard the cow as sacred, or Hindus at least. There's cows wandering around the streets all over the place, and people don't want them in their shops. They come into the shop, and people hit them and have them go out. But there's cows, and the Indian bovine cows are. They have this weird hump on their back that our cows in the United States don't have. And so that was another common thing uh, where we went to register like our housing when we first got to Bangalore. There was big old fruit bats up in the trees, tons of them, thousands of fruit bats in the trees above the government office. And it looked like they looked like the vampire bats from Indiana Jones, but they were, I mean, they're just fruit bats, but they're huge. And, uh, there, there was a couple times where I saw spiders that were about this big on people's on people's wall. I was with Elder Row one time, and we killed one of those because freaked us out. I don't know. It's huge. It was like bigger than two of my fists. And I don't know. It's just crazy. Some crazy wildlife, snakes, and it was. I mean, there's the jungle. It's the Jungle Book. So it's just stuff like that.